Hello! We continue with our Vegas Pro tutorial series. This time the topic is text, titles and credits. Through the Media Generators tab, we will access to the many text features Vegas Pro offers and together we will learn to apply effects like this. Text, Titles and Credits Let's go! Remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the video description you will find a link to our full Vegas Pro tutorial playlist. If you click on that link, YouTube will take you to the full Vegas Pro tutorial we are being creating. So let's come back and let me tell you that this tutorial will be broken in four parts. One for each kind of text effect Vegas Pro has. First, legacy text. This is the most simple, very easy and very fast to apply. Then title and text. This kind of text effect comes with very interesting default animation and you can apply keyframing as well. Then prototype title. This kind of effect lets you apply keyframing to any property of the text separately. You can fully customize this kind of text effect. And finally the credits. There's also a variety of credits you can apply with Vegas Pro. It is time Let's go to Vegas Pro and let's import a video and use it as a background and apply some music. We've done this before, so let's go fast. Go to File, Import, Media, and let's import a video like this one. Click, Open, and it comes here to the Project Media tab. Let's trim this video. You click here on Trimmer, click the video, drag to the Trimmer, select a part of the video like this one. So let's move the yellow marker, the opening one. Positioning. Let's play this a little. Okay, let's use the yellow marker, the closing. And let's select a few seconds, like this. Remember, right click, select the region, position the marker, and then add to timeline from cursor. Click on this, and this is it. From this 17 minutes video, we have selected only about 20 seconds. Let's zoom in a little. Let's disable the sound, you know how, you can click on mute, you just need to click on the preview window and then watch what is on the timeline, click, no sound. Let's add a background sound, go to the main navigation panel, click on project media, file, import, media, go to music and select your sound, open and drag it to the timeline. This way you create a new soundtrack, drop there. Now you have the video track, the original audio track, which is mute, and the soundtrack we have just added. If you play to this video, here on the preview window, play. That's our song. Let's turn this song. We need to delete all this area of the song. Position the marker this way, and then you can split, get the slides into, right click, and delete. Now our new video is ready to apply some text effects. Let's do this. The text effects are collected on the tab Media Generators. If you click on that, you can see many kinds of effects you can create. The texts are legacy texts, title and text, prototype title, and maybe credit roll. All of them collected in Media Generators tab. If you don't see this tab, you just need to go to View. Windows Layout, click on Default Layout, and the Media Generators tab will appear. The most simple kind of text is Legacy Text. Let's go there. If we want a text effect over this video, then we will need a new track. Let's add a new track. You right click on the video track, and then go to Insert Video Track. Click there. Now we have a new video track. How to apply the text effect? Well, here in the Media Generator tab, if you want a legacy text, you click on the text effect. Let's use the default one. Click and drag it to the timeline 
over the video, on top of the video. This pop-up window, the media generators, will appear and the text will also appear. Now it's time to edit the text. Let's drag this window. Make sure you have the cursor over the text effect so you can see it here in the preview window because if the cursor is somewhere else, like this for example, you won't see the text effect. The text effect is represented by this clip. If the clip is on top of the video, then the text will be also on top of the video here in the preview window. Let's adjust this text. You can position the text clip just by dragging. You can adjust its duration by dragging its borders. And you can make also some other adjustments here in the media generator window. You have four tabs here. Edit, Placement, Properties and Effects. Let's start by Edit. Here you can type the words. I would like to select this and type text effects. As you type it here, it will appear here. You can select it all, set the font family. What about this one? I like that. Maybe a lot of size, shorter, like this. I would like it italic. Maybe the T letter a little bigger. I can select just one character. I select only that letter and adjust its size to be like this. Okay, so in this tab edit, you adjust the font family, type the text you want, its size, and some other things. You can also go to the other tab, placement, click on that, and you can adjust the location of the text just by clicking and dragging. You see? I will like this text at the bottom and at the left corner. This way. I like that. Let's adjust some other properties. Here, clicking on the properties tab. You can set the colors for the text here in text color controls and the background color also. Let's fix the text color just by clicking and dragging or maybe in red, that's some kind of pink. You can also use these controls. The text could be transparent just by clicking this control also. I don't want it to be transparent. You can also select a color of using this control. Click on pick color from the screen and then you select any color on your screen. Like this one, for example, click, and automatically the text gets that color. I would like it in pink, this one, okay. You can also adjust another text properties like tracking, look at this. Scaling, adjust the size of the text, and also the background color. There is no background color right now, it could be. If I want a green background color, it will cover all the video. I can adjust its transparency, clicking here dragging this and if I want it, the background of the text to be completely transparent just drag this to the bottom so the text has no background and I can clearly watch the video another interesting thing you can do is apply some motion to this kind of text clicking on animate if you click here now it's possible to apply some animation to keyframes these kind of markers you see here Position the cursor at the beginning and here we have a marker. Any adjustment, any change to apply to any property can be altered over time through keyframes. For example, the placement. Let's click on the placement and enable here the same cursor to media. Remember this is a video. If you play this, it will be reproducing. Position the marker at the beginning. I want at the beginning this text to be at this place. Then at the middle of the video, over here, the text be at this location. At this moment of the video, the text be here. And at the end of the video, over here, the text returns to its original position. Now if you watch this, position the marker at the beginning, look at the motion we have just applied to the text effect, click, That's right, so you can add text effects, apply some motion, and customize the way you like. Let's close the video media generator window, click on that. And if now I want to apply some other adjustment, I just need to click here at the generated media icon, click on that, and once again you can see the video media generator window and apply any adjustment you like. Like, for example, like this. Let's close this. And now let's watch the test effect we have just created. Position the marker at the beginning, this way. And let's play this.
like that. Let's add another. This time let's go fast. Another legacy text is this one. Cool. You just need to click and drag to the timeline. You can position it as a clip. You can adjust its duration. Let's move this. Dragging its corner. This way. To see it, you need to position the marker over it. Like this. And in the media, media generator window, you can edit the text. Like typing wash, select edit, I just send me from family, go to the placement tab, position it where you want, go to properties, I just the font color, I just is tracking, I would like it like this, maybe it's too big, I just is scaling, and then go to effects, this new one, this is the text, keep watching on this, let's adjust the outline color, like this, clicking, let's use red, okay, Let's adjust the feather, the width, shadow, has a blue shadow, let's use a green one, look the shadow, this is the shadow, let's use a black shadow, click, and black, there is the shadow, like this, feather, look at that, this is the shadow, so you can adjust the outline, the shadow, and then enable some deformation. Click on Enable Deformation, and you can select one. What about this one? This one? I like that. Let's apply some animation. Click on Animate. Position the marker at the beginning. Double click on this keyframe. Go to Properties. And let's adjust this scaling. Maybe be shorter at the beginning. At the middle of the video be a little larger. Adjust this scaling. And that's OK. Let's preview this. Position the marker. And let's play this. Okay, let's close this. Well, that is the most simple kind of test effect. Legacy text. Now let's go to title and text. This one has animation. Title and text. This kind of test effects. Title and text has default animation. If you want to check that, you just need to hover the course over it. And you see animation. Look at this, action flip. What about this one? Look at this one. This is a default animation. That's why this one, the title and text, is a little more advanced than the basic legacy text. Let's add some other text effects to this video. You can overlap text effects. You just need another video track. You right click on a video track, insert a new video track and then let's drag a new text effect like this one click and drag it to the timeline it will be represented by a clip a rectangle a new window will appear video media generator window same name as before but now it has a little different appearance remember to preview the text effects in the preview window you need to position the marker over it on the timeline position the marker and let's preview the effect it has its own animation. Let's preview this. Okay, we're gonna make some adjustments later to this test effect. But by now, let's close this, the video media generator window. And let's adjust the position. Remember, this clip indicates the new text. You can drag it. You can adjust its duration. Position the marker over it to watch it. Is this one, the green one? And if you want to make some adjustments to this text effect, you just need to click on this generated media icon. Click on that, and now let's apply some adjustments. The controls seems to be the same. You have text, location, outline, shadow. Let's check this. Let's position the marker at this moment, and you can see the text is bounced. Let's change this by title and text. Let's adjust its scale. Maybe like this is okay. It's location. Click on this drop down arrow and reposition it. I like it here. Okay. Advance. Let's move down a little. Tracking. Line spacing. There's just one line. Okay. Outline. Outline color is a uh, lighter green. We could use. Click on this. Any other color, like for example a red, okay, shadow, and you need to enable shadow, click in here. Now you have a shadow. You can adjust the shadow as you like, its position, 
of blood release and kind of thing like that. It is also possible to apply animation in title and text effects, like for example, scale. Here you apply animation by clicking here, animate, click here, and now you can see the keyframe come to us. Let's go to the beginning, like this, the scale to be shorter, at the middle of the video, let's make it grow a little, then at this moment, maybe it's too big, like this, at this moment, maybe shorter again, and at the end of the video, very very short. Let's close this, and let's preview this test effect. Position the marker at the beginning. And remember, it's this the green one. Let's play this. Do you like it? Let's come back. Remember how? Clicking on the generated media icon. In this kind of text, title and text offers the possibility to enable animation to any property separately. Now we're applying animation to the scale, we could also speak location by clicking here, if you click here, now we have animation to the scale and the location, and so on. You can apply animation to any of this kind of test effect. Let's close this. And now let's check an even more advanced touch feature, the Prototype Titler. Prototype Titler. Let's select one. Click and drag it to the timeline. Will be indicated represented by a clip. Here it is. To type, just double click on the word. Select, and I want this title to say Pro Type Filer. Then click here to exit. So now we have three tabs, three groups of controls Transform, Effect, and Layout. They are very simple. Let's transform in the Pro Type Filer. You can adjust the position just by dragging, clicking, and dragging. Adjust the size by dragging its corners. Also the borders. You can rotate if you hover over the center and then look its border and rotate. As you make any of these adjustments, like this, the controls on the left move also. I would like this to be here. So we can adjust the rotation, scale and shear. Let's look at this. You see? As you like. At the transform tab. Let's look at the effects tab. You can adjust the opacity of the text. Maybe a little will be okay, a little bit transparent, and then gradient fill. Let's check this. Let's set the two colors of this gradient. Click on this, and maybe some kind of red, and this color, this one, some kind of green, like this. That's right, gradient fill. You can apply a blur, a glow. Let's use this. Drop shadow, enable this. Click this drop down arrow to customize. And you could apply the customization to your set, just as we did in previous text effects. Next up, layout. We could use some vertical orientation. I don't like that. Tracking, we've seen this before. You can drag this bar, or you can just click in here, type zero, press enter, comes back to normal. Line spacing, if we have several lines, and many other things. So we have three tabs, three groups of controls to customize the text. Here in the prototype, you can use some more advanced features, like for example, unlocking the aspect ratio. Unlock this, and now you can change the appearance of the text this way. Let's check this. You can also customize word by word, like this. Let's use this control. Navigate to child, now this is a word, this is one. Navigate to child again, and now this way. You see? You can rotate the P, adjust its size, apply any kind of animation. Let's rotate this, let's increase its size by dragging the scale, drag the position. You can do many things, and actually the possibilities are limitless, but the tutorial has been very long so far. So let's close this, adjust the text effect size by dragging its border. You can also overlap text effects like this, as long as you have enabled the automatic crossfades. Once you create this kind of crossfade, you could also click on transitions, select a transition you like, and drag it to the fade. 
like this. Okay, coming back to the media generators tab, we have seen the legacy text, the very basic text effects, then we saw the tyrant text. This one shows its own animation, and you can apply keyframes to any property separately. We have just watched some prototype title where you can edit and animate even any letter in your title. Also use some gradient to make things interesting. Now it's time to the credit roll, this one, let's do that. Just as before, you select one you like, click and drag it to the timeline. Like this, position it in an upper track and the video media generator window will appear. It expects you to type the title. Let's type credit text as a title, sub item text. It could be Vegas Pro 15, item left, created by, item right, loving share, longer item left, music used, right, no copyright, inserted here. Let's add a new one. Let's type the year. Let's click here, type year, and here type 2018, type here cast, and type here because pro 15, that's enough. Let's close this, and let's move this, this is the credit roll, let's preview this, ladies. Okay, look at that, let's drag this a little. And to the main video, this the video, I want to apply a fading, remember how? Hovering over this and drag it in, this way. Let's drag this. I would like to listen to music, even on the credits rolls. I'm gonna fix that. Look at this. The music finished at this moment. This is the track of the music. And I want it to listen even on the credit rolls. So, I'm going down to the music track, right click, going to delete, come back to the project media tab to drag the music again, click on that and drag the song, the same song we have been using. Now I'm going to position the marker at the end of the video, the end of the credit roll, go down, I'm going to split, right click and delete, all this to make the song last as much as the video, including the credit rolls. But as the video is finishing, I would like a very long fade out to the sun. Remember how to do that, this way. Let's also create a fade in to the music. And our video is finished, it's time to render. So let's go to file, render as, I would like an mp4 of a very simple 720 pixels, I want to save it at this folder, to name it this way, I'm going to save it, sometimes make sure here on render options to uncheck the render loop region, because I don't want Vegas to render only the loop region, I want it to render all the video, and there will be time to click on render, the video has begun, it will take a few seconds, and it will be done, go to open folder, and this is our new video. Before watching this video, I would like you to notice, let's come back to Vegas, that at the end of the video, when appears the credit roll, there is no video in the background. So at the end of the video, the background, the credit roll's background is black. See, the video fades, it is slowly fading to black, because there is no video at the background of the end. Let's come back and watch our creation. It's an mp4 file. Double click to open, 